No disrespect, but I'd appreciate if you let me and my family be. Those folks in Sidonia may be closer to Earth, but we do a better job preserving its traditions. I don't mind the Taurus. They help the local enough. We take vandalism seriously. You don't mess with it. I can't wait to go away on my learning vacation when I up. I'll treat you if you need it, but please try to be more careful around here. See, sometimes silly ideas are worth the effort. Thanks for <laughs> indulging me with my weird ideas. Tell you what, if you want to come back later and do this for me a couple more times, I'll even let you keep the costume.
Have any questions so far? I'm not sure the exact count, but New Homestead is a fairly small colony. What you see is what you get for the most part, except for some other people who live in the private lower levels. Some, particularly security, and yours truly, even commute from other worlds. The original Titan Astrobase had more habitation pods on the surface connected to some of the old structures you may have seen in the back. As the colony grew, the base was expanded underground, and those hab units were recycled into materials used down here. Sadly, it's difficult to get additional construction done inside these underground caverns. So for now, additional populations are housed in these stacks of old shipping crates. As you might expect, this is where some of the less wealthy can afford to live. It's not glamorous, but they are functional and cozy. Oh sure, I'll be here waiting. <laughs> the locals love to talk with tourists, but they'll let you know if they're busy. So please respect them. You get used to the methane processing smell. Lots after a while. of history here, if you're into that sort of thing. It's a little weird that people come here to see what early colony life. Some say New Homestead is a backwoods world. Maybe it is, but that doesn't really bother me. Oh, you, you don't really want to talk to me. I'm just a nobody from the crates. Besides, I'm not really good at talking to tourists about New Homestead. If you're really interested in our history, talk to Maurice. He's a lot better at that than I am. You do? I mean, sure. I don't know what I can tell you, but if you want to talk, I don't have anything else I need to do right now. The crates are what we call the living quarters for the poor people, like me. They're made from old shipping containers. We have to make do with the space we have here. They're comfortable enough, I guess. And no one on Titan is well off to begin with, but you can tell that people look down on us, especially some of the tourists. Well, I'm trying to finish up my undergrad schooling, actually. I want to be a physicist like my grandmother. Then, who knows what. But I also do some odd jobs here or there for money. Sometimes I help Jay out at his shop, and he gives me stuff in return. Sometimes I help Anya clean up at the brown horse when she's short-staffed, that sort of thing. It's not as bad as you'd think. I like talking to off-worlders, especially people my age. It gives me ideas for what I want to do when I'm done with school. Because, honestly... I'm not sure I want to stay here. It'll always be my home, but as soon as I can afford to, I'd love to explore my options. Okay, well, no, not the studies specifically. Like, I get good grades when I'm able to apply myself. But I'm poor. I just don't have the kind of money to be a full-time student and support myself, even living in the cheap-ass crates. I keep having to take odd jobs just to put food on my plate, and when I do, my grades suffer. I just feel like I'll be stuck in a rut forever. Wow. 
What? Really? I, I don't know what to say. This is beyond kind of you. I mean, I don't even know you, but... Wow. Thank you. Later. Sure would be nice to get him. Hi there. Always nice seeing a new face. Mm, I could... If you need medical attention, see Dr. Lacora. But I'll order for him. She really doesn't care for tourists. Any questions so far? Alrighty, we'll be taking the residential elevator to the farms area on the surface level. This way, please. Let's leave these good people alone for now and go check out the farms. Follow me up the elevator. <laughs> Someone new. Are you a tourist, or have you just moved to New Homestead? <laughs> oh, you should probably know then that homes aren't the same as where you're probably from. You'd be lucky to own a private room, let alone a whole hab unit of your own, but don't let that scare you away. It's quite cozy and pleasant here. I'm fascinated by the other worlds in the settled systems. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Oh, wonderful. What's New Atlantis like? Oh, that's disappointing. It seems so exciting from all I've heard. It must be a matter of personal taste, then. I wonder if I'd like it. Maybe someday I'll get up the nerve to visit myself. Do you mind if I ask you another question? Thanks. I promise not to take too much of your time. Is the Freestar Collective as lawless as I've heard? I figured the stories weren't all true. How else would you expect people to live together if you can't trust in laws to keep everyone safe? Even in a small community like ours, we have to maintain law and order. Though, I understand it gets difficult to always protect that out in the vastness of space. I imagine it's the same in the Freestar Collective. Is it okay if I change the subject? Oh, thank you! Are there really planets full of plants, fresh air, and water? read about them. It seems incredible, doesn't it? I've only ever known Titan, and it's always so cold and drab. I've always dreamed of visiting one to 
breathe the air, feel the warmth of its sun, but my husband is reluctant to leave our home. Can I ask you something else? Thanks. I promise not to take too much of your time. Is space travel as exciting as it seems? I've heard stories about pirates and spaceship malfunctions and all sorts of terrible things. I've always wanted to try going into space, but I'm also worried about all those dangers. Maybe people here are right. The dangers here are few, and we know how to take care of them. Space is too unknown. Those are all the questions I have at the moment. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day for me. We Titans are hardy people. You'd have to be to live in a place like this. I overheard you speaking to my wife, Mara, filling her head with ideas about picking up and leaving home. You got anything to say for yourself? Listen here. Mara's free to make her own decisions. I'm not here to control her if that's what you're insinuating. But that doesn't mean I take kindly to other people manipulating her and telling her the other worlds are full of sunshine and rainbows. We live a simple, traditional life here, and it's important to the community that we maintain that. Do you understand? People rely on technology too much. We need to remember how to perform the basics to survive in case we ever find ourselves without said technology. We need to remember where we came from, Earth, this system, lest we forget and repeat the same mistakes as before. We're one of the last colonies charged with that preservation. That's why it's important. It's not. Thank you for realizing that. I'm sure you didn't mean anything by it, so we're good. You have yourself a day. We used, to get, we used to get more tourists than we do these days. Any questions about the farms? These days, it's a mix of what you find elsewhere in the galaxy, but in the olden days, it was all brought over from Earth. It was a lot of hearty root vegetables like potatoes, carrots, beets, and such, supplemented with corn, peas, green beans, soy, etc., which didn't always grow as well. Good question. It's largely the same, because this was the colony that pioneered the techniques you see elsewhere. But you'll notice that the farms here are smaller and staffed by humans, not robots. Things here are a little more old-fashioned compared to some of the large factory farms you'll find elsewhere in the settled systems. Oh, they are indeed. Colonists still cultivate plant-based food for their own consumption here in New Homestead. It's less vital to their survival these days as they also import supplemental food from other colonies, including meats, dairy, and synthetics. However, most citizens here take pride in a new homestead-grown, sustainable diet. Onward it is! <laughs> we'll be stopping by the Brown Horse Tavern later in the tour, which uses many of these locally sourced ingredients in their cooking. But for now, it's just a short way to our next stop. Follow me! So, the old bio labs are just on the other side of this building, believe it or not. We'll step on through the hallway there. They're not in use anymore, but the colony has faithfully recreated them as a historical exhibit, true to the original purpose of the Titan Astro Base. Sadly, they're undergoing some light renovation. Otherwise, there'd be interactive activities for kids to learn about how they used to search for microbial life here. Don't 